Why we have this 13th month here in my 1775 Bible. And people keep asking me, can you explore more? Can you explain more why we have 13 months? And, you know, I just want to kind of really get you to understand we don't. Throughout human history, the measurement of time has evolved dramatically, shaping cultures, societies, and civilizations. Today, we embark on a journey through the various calendars that have guided humanity, starting with the ancient Sumerians to the calendars we use today. Our story begins over 4,000 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia, where the Sumerians devised one of the earliest known calendars. This calendar was based on the lunar cycle, consisting of 12 months, each with 29 or 30 days, closely aligned with the phases of the moon. To keep their agriculture society in sync with the seasons, Sumerians introduced intercalation, adding an extra month every few years to account for the discrepancies between the lunar and solar cycles. In ancient Egypt, where the Egyptians developed a solar calendar around 4000 BCE, this calendar had 12 months of 30 days plus an additional five days to align to the solar year. Their calendar was crucial for predicting the annual flooding of the Nile, which is vital for agriculture. Those 365 days became the foundation for future calendars, highlighting the Egyptians' deep understanding of astronomy. Fast forward to 45 BCE when Julius Caesar reformed the Roman calendar, creating the Julian calendar. This calendar consisted of 12 months, totaling 365 days with a leap year every four years to compensate for the extra quarter of a day in the solar year. Though a significant improvement, the Julian calendar still drifted out of sync with the equinoxes over time. In the 16th century, this drift led to the creation of the Gregorian calendar, introduced by Pope Gregory VIII in 1582. This calendar adjusted the leap year rules, omitting three leap years every 400 years to maintain alignment with the solar year. The Gregorian calendar gradually replaced the Julian calendar across Europe and beyond, becoming the most widely used calendar today. While the Gregorian calendar is dominant, many cultures continue to use their own traditional calendars. The Chinese calendar, for example, is lunisolar, tracking both the moon's phases and the sun's position, while the Islamic calendar is purely lunar, with 12 months totaling 354 or 355 days. As we reflect on the evolution of calendars, we see a rich tapestry of human ingenuity, creativity, and the need to connect with the rhythms of nature. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. We don't have 13 months. We have 12 months. And this Bible, the 1775 Bible of mine, is still, when I look at it and I see 13, it's weird, you know, but it's not what I thought it was. It's not a 13th month. I hope you understand that I'll always be seeking the truth. Whenever I'm asking questions, I may not know the answer and I may be uh, starting to go down a rabbit hole myself in order to understand what somebody else was saying in 1775. And that's something that blew my mind the first time I, I saw it. And for every time I see it, I still see, I, I freak out. I'm like, 13, 13, what? What's 13? Then you do the math and you're like, 13, if you did 28 days, 13 months at 28 days is 364. You're like right there at a year, just one day off. And I didn't do the research originally and see what intercalary meant. I should have just done that. I should have just gone online just like I did, you know, to share it with you guys, to read that to you. Intercalary is a day or a month inserted in the calendar to harmonize it with the solar year. It used to be sometimes an extra month as you hear in this breakdown we just went through of the, the calendars, but, uh, I'm hoping that uh, we can at least uh, put this one to rest. If you enjoyed the exploration of calendars, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time.